lots of people asking me about uh, some neighborhoods in Hamilton, especially if somebody's coming from overseas or other province, or even from Toronto, which area to choose. And today I wanted to cover uh, the area on a mountain. It's between Stony Creek and uh, Hamilton. There is lots of, it's a brand new area, lots of new construction, fairly new houses um, on both sides of the uh, kind of street. I'm going to cover three neighborhoods and I'm going to switch to the map and I will show you all those neighborhoods and the properties that are listed uh, in, the, in those areas right now. And um, we'll go from there. Okay, uh, I'm going to cover, as you can see on the screen, I'm going to cover these, this area, the Trinity, Valley Park, and Lackey uh, neighborhood, just where the, you know, borders the uh, Mod Street on both sides. I'll show you some neighborhoods on this side. And on this side, also, I will go around some areas in this neighborhood. So I'll show you some properties around, around Rymel and, and Highland. Lots of new constructions by Lasagna Homes. Uh, most of it sold out. Uh, there's another uh, new subdivision going in. Stay tuned for that. What this area is, is good uh, good for? Why is it uh, good to move in the, uh, to this area? Well, first of all, there is massive industrial park. It was industrial zone at some point, and then now it's just uh, turning residential. Uh, there is all kinds of residential along the Rymal Street. Uh, as you can see here, it's Walmart, but there's all kinds of stores on, on a Rymal Street, all kinds of restaurants, pubs, and uh, classy places, and just the fast food restaurants. That's on Rymal. And Paramount, there is actually a Cineplex. Uh, there is also a Home Depot, a Metro. There's all kinds of uh, stores out there. Okay, what else I wanted to talk about is the uh, schools. We have Bishop Ryan Catholic Secondary School, which is uh, quite a nice school. Uh, it's, uh, obviously, it's a Catholic board. Uh, then we have uh, Salt Fleet uh, District High School, and uh, we have a few others. I will switch to another screen. Uh, I will use this website. It's courtesy of uh, IT Realty, uh, one of our uh, partners at EXP. Great website if you need to go and, and explore any schools. You can do that, and uh, as and it, it has the rating of, of the schools. If I click on it, it has two ratings available and you can hover over it and, and you can find, um, you know, what the school is rated at. Uh, but today we're gonna focus on this area, like I said, uh, especially around Mott Street. As you can see, there's that uh, the houses started uh, 579, 599. Uh, keep in mind, those are not uh, sold prices. Those are active. so those could be a little bit higher than that uh, and but right now you, you can see that um Obviously, this, this, this is a, a little bit unique property, has a lot of land, but it's uh, most likely for redevelopment. As you can see, 699, 699, 730, 740, 790, $800,000. One point, uh, I guess 1.15, the detached houses starting to pop up, right? So there's all kinds of mixture in this area. Uh, 
uh, of houses uh, on this side there is all kinds of uh, townhouses this is more of a mature uh, neighborhood let, let, let's take a look single home with a two-car garage another single home and like i said there's two schools uh, bishop ryan is uh, again rated at uh, 5.6 on this side you, you're probably looking at townhomes east of the um, Mud Street, you're looking at the most of the uh, townhomes. There are some uh, single homes, but you'd, be, you'd be looking at 1.2, uh, 1 1.3 million dollars for those. Then uh, there are some other schools here, uh, which is Glendale. This is the boundary. And then this is the boundary for the uh, Orchard Park. Orchard Park is a very good school in Stony Creek. Uh, the rating is 91 and, and Fraser uh, Institute rating is 7.1. So it's a very good school and it has a quite, uh, quite a large catchment. And like I said, it covers most of the, oh, all Stony Creek all the way to 50 Road and up, up on a hill uh, or up on a mountain. But we're focusing on this one. So like I said, there's uh, there's very nice neighborhoods in some townhomes, some homes, uh, detached homes. There are very few high rises, but they're, they're out there as well. So if you want to be in uh, in a newer subdivision, then you you want to stay close to the uh, Rymel or off of uh, like uh, east of the Mud Street. So this is it. If you have any questions about any other area or this area in particular, uh, please um, uh, give me a shout, reach out to me, or you can subscribe and uh, click the uh, like button below uh, so you can get notifications whenever the new video comes out. Bye-bye.